Hello TalkX Duggar viewers, now let's take a look at some of the most prominent and notable news coming in today, November 24. First of all, good news for those who love Jinger Duggar's daughter, Evangeline. In a new Instagram post, Jeremy is seen holding his one-year-old daughter while they shop for sneakers at a store. The little girl is wearing a patterned one-piece outfit as she reaches for a shoe on the wall. Birthday girl, the big one year. She has good taste, Jeremy writes. Fans are leaving birthday wishes for little Evangeline in the comments section of Jeremy's two posts. They wish the little girl a happy birthday spent with her family. They're also taken aback by how quickly she's matured. Jill Dillard is celebrating a significant milestone in her marriage to husband Derek Dillard. She penned, Today marks eight years since Derek officially asked me to start dating him. I love you so much. Thanks for loving Jesus and pointing me to him. And thanks for being my man, my rock, my biggest supporter, the shoulder I cry on, and my very best friend. Here's to forever with you, my love. A follower wrote, He's a class act. He let his wonderful wife grow into her own skin. What a great blessing that is. Happy anniversary. I remember that episode. Your dad was pretty cool to travel halfway around the world so you could visit your future husband. Not many dads would do that. Congratulations on eight years, another said. Following that, there was a lot of information indicating that Joy Anna was getting ready to give birth to another small member of her family. A great deal of evidence suggests Joy Anna has recently dressed her children in neutral clothing. One of Joy recent Anna's Evelyn posts shows the little girl dressed in a gender-neutral outfit while playing at the park. Other fans, on the other hand, believe Joanna's decision to dress her children neutrally is in preparation for future children. It would be more cost-effective to purchase neutral clothing for all of her children. As one supporter points out, neutral colors are the most practical when you plan on having more than one kid. So, do you think Joanna Forsyth is expecting her third child? Or, do you believe she's simply dressing her children in neutral clothing because it's fashionable? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. What happened to Jedediah Duggar and his pregnant wife Katie? Fans speculate that their silence is in response to the negative feedback they received about their COVID joke. Because they joked, many people thought their announcement was inappropriate. She tested positive, but not for COVID. It's unclear why Jedediah and Katie aren't posting online themselves right now. But hopefully, they'll return to social media in the near future. Fans believe they will start posting more after Josh Duggar's trial on November 30th but we'll have to wait and see what they decide. Josh Duggar's previous cellmate, Robert Franklin, will testify at his trial on November 30th. In the most recent motion filed in Josh's case, his former cellmate is listed as a material witness. The motion doesn't reveal specifically why Franklin is set to testify. However, Duggar's snarks have taken to social media to speculate. They think that Josh could have interacted with Franklin in the short time he spent in jail during his latest scandal. During that time, Josh could have revealed a little bit too much information and got himself into trouble. One user says, I can see Pest asking him what he was in for. Dude admits to a bunch of things. Pest probably lit up like a Christmas tree and word vomited his disgusting history and even Dude was horrified because who wouldn't be? CSA is the absolute most disgusting thing there is and what Pest was into was the worst of the worst. I'm sure Pest, being the arrogant dumbass that he is, overshared and his former cellmate is only too happy to help put a J-list celebrity away. So do you believe Josh told him something while he was temporarily imprisoned? Please share your thoughts in the section below.